<clears throat> I know I've said this before, but it's been a while. I know it's at least before COVID, uh, but from up front, when Monsignor calls the children to go to their Liturgy of the Word, they come running with such joy and such reverence. And the, the way they bow to the altar, it's, it's really too bad. All of you can't see that because it's a model that we should follow. We should be coming, running to the altar with joy in our hearts and expressing that joy throughout the day, throughout our lives and never stop expressing that joy. Because we are a community for whom Jesus prays. Today's gospel is many times referred to as the farewell discourse or the farewell prayer. It's not direct, he's not speak, Jesus is not speaking to his disciples or the apostles in that upper room at the Last Supper. He's talking to his father. This is a prayer. This is an intimate prayer that Jesus has with his Father. Now we, the disciples, the apostles, were privileged to hear that prayer. And we have it recorded in John's Gospel. But it's, it's just a wonderful, intimate prayer of how the Father and the Son love one another. And what great love they have. To the point where Jesus, the next day, offers himself on the cross. But this is a great mystery, isn't it? We live in mystery. Not mysteries to be sol solved, but mystery. And they're great mysteries. And we just live in them and contemplate them. Jesus mentions here that he was with, the Lord, with God before the world began. And if we look at John's gospel in the entirety, we're going to see that opening, his opening statement is, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. So it's really bookending, isn't it? And all those mysteries that occurred since the beginning, the mystery of the flood, the mystery of Noah's Ark, the mystery of, of everything that occurs in the Old Testament and how we live in those mysteries, even today. And then we have the greatest mystery of all, that during the Last Supper, Jesus institutes the Eucharist, his very body and blood soul and divinity that is with us always. As the Alley of Earth says, he will not leave us orphan. He's with us and we can be with him. We should model Jesus' prayer in our daily lives. A former deacon uh, during a discussion on prayer that he had, he said we should get comfortable. I forget who he quoted, one of the saints said, get comfortable. Take off your shoes, climb into God's lap, call him daddy. Do we give ourselves time each day to do that? Even if it's just a couple minutes, I know our lives are busy and it's, a, it's tough to carve out that little bit of time, but we should do it. And not just pray a prayer that we learn by heart, but a prayer of the heart, between the two hearts, between the heart of God in Jesus and the heart on our heart. Someone related to me once a, a story, or not a story, an experience that they had in prayer. They were troubled, greatly troubled by something, and they came and sat before the Blessed Sacrament for an hour in exhibition. And at the end of that hour in prayer, they forgot what they had came in with. They didn't remember the trouble that they had. They gave it to Jesus and Jesus took it from them and gave them peace. So we all should remember that Jesus prayed for us in this community, this church, just as those children run forward in our community. They're going off as community, aren't they? They're going off as brothers and sisters in community. And they're listening to the word of God, the same word of God that you heard, maybe in a little different translation that they can understand a little easier, but it's the same word, the same meanings. So always remember that Jesus is praying for us and entrust that he will, he is the future. God is the future 
and we give ourselves in hope to God for the future, in trust, in faith, and in love to God for the future. So everything we do is directed by and in concert with God, and that he loves us and will be always with us, and always, and Jesus is praying for us. He's the intercessor, isn't he? He prays for us with the Father.